This video will illustrate how to submit a proposed order using the 15th Judicial Circuit of Florida's online services application. From the 15th Judicial Circuit website, 15thcircuit.com, go to the Circuit Web Application section and click the View All Web Applications link. Click the Online Services Home button. Enter your username and password. If you do not yet have an account for online services, you will need to create one first by clicking the Register a New User button. After logging in, click the Continue to Online Scheduling link. Enter your case number and click search. Verify that this is the correct case and click yes. Find the submit proposed order button below. If this button does not appear, the division to which your case belongs is not currently accepting proposed orders through this system. Please check the divisional instructions for information regarding divisional procedures. Also note the red text above. The Submit Proposed Order button is only for submitting proposed order documents that require the judge's signature. All other documents should be submitted using the Submit eCourtesy button. Click the Submit Proposed Order button. Enter a title for your document. Then click Browse and select your document. Please note that this document must be in Word format. If there is an event to which this document is related, select it from the drop-down list. If not, you can leave this field blank. If you have a supporting document such as a letter, copy of a motion, memoranda, or some other type of document, click the optional Attach a Supporting Document link. Enter a title. and click Browse and select the file. If you have more documents to attach, you can continue to attach supporting documents as needed. If you have a comment you would like to leave regarding these documents, enter it in the text area below. Any comments entered here will be saved to a PDF and attached to the PDF of your proposed order. This will prevent ex parte communication. When you're ready to upload your documents, click Submit. Confirm your case number once more and click Yes. Your document has now been converted to a web-based format. The online editor is similar to Microsoft Word. You can type into it and edit your document or change the formatting using the buttons in the toolbar. When you are finished editing, use the Preview PDF button in the toolbar to see how your document looks in PDF format. This is how it will look once it is signed and filed by the court. If the document needs more formatting changes, go back and re-edit it. When you're ready to submit your document to the court, click Submit. You can also save the document as a draft to be submitted later, or you can mark the checkbox to save this document as a template for future use. Indicate whether all parties have reviewed and approved the language of the proposed order, and click either yes or no. Your document has now been submitted to the court. Click the link to download a PDF copy of your proposed order. This document includes a cover sheet containing any comments that you entered earlier. Online Services does not serve your proposed order for you. You will need to save a copy of the provided PDF 
and email it to opposing counsel or other parties on the case. The document is now in the judge's queue for review and signature. If for some reason it is rejected, you will receive an email from the judge's office indicating why the order was rejected. Otherwise, you will receive a signed copy of the order via judicial e-service once it has been processed by the judge's office.